everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and I'm reviewing the trade room tracking for 2018 from January through October 4th, which is today. So take a look here for the win percentage ratio for the year. Uh, three more months left in the year. Hopefully uh, it will be a really good earning season. I'm looking forward to it. It has begun. So far it started out very strong. If you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com or call me at 929-3200-GAP or follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Skype, or LinkedIn. If you decide you want to trade the market, you're really doing this as an independent person. You're empowering yourself to trade, to do it, and you can work for yourself. So if you like the idea of working for yourself, then trading may be for you. You work from the comfort of your home, and even if you do my course and you join the live trading room, you would be in the class, in the room, and you would take the trades yourself. I'm calling the trades, so we're reviewing all the trades you're called for the entire year. You are taking them yourself, and it's really very empowering because you're the ones in control of your own destiny, and you're learning all the time as well in the room. So the year started off January 4th, LB was a winner. DKS was a winner, Play was a winner, DKS was a loser, Urban was a loser, AYI was a winner, SVU was a winner, no trades on the 11th, and GME was a winner. Now you'll see here some of the days there was no trades because there was nothing that met my criteria. So I'm looking every day for the gaps that rate 20 points or more. And so if I find it, whether it's long or short, we do it. If I don't, there's nothing. No trades, okay? The best thing is we have one pick, one good pick, and it works and we're done, and those are the best days. Usually when you see here, when there's been more than one call, it's because why? First one was a loser, and then we may do a second trade. So it's best that you trade the less, and then you plop it on with size, and that's how you can make the most money, and also it keeps your cost downs with the broker for commissions. 115 room was closed, 116 the SPY was a winner, IBM was a winner, no trades on the 18th, Nike was a winner, SANM was a winner, no trades on the 23rd, UAL was a winner on the 24th, NWL was a winner on the 25th, and 26 INTC was a winner. 29th, this is a strong week, Sohu was a winner, Met was a winner, Juniper was a winner, eBay was a winner, Apple was a winner, no trades on the 5th, SWKS was a winner, CMG was a winner, that was a big one. Tiva was a loser on the 8th, HBI was a winner, EXP was a loser, and then there was a second trade in that that worked. No trades on the 12th, room closed on the 13th, Spy was a loser, Car was a loser, and Fossil was a winner on the 14th. NTAP was a winner, and True was a winner on the 16th. Room closed on the 19th, 220 WMT was two trades, one loser, one winner. SLCA was a winner, AOI was a winner, HPE was a winner. 26 DF was a winner, and the Spy. Winner two. Disney was a winner on the 27th. This was earning season to start out the year. Low was a loser, TSO was a loser, and CLG was a winner. MNST was a winner on the March 1st. Foot Locker was a winner on the 2nd. No trades on the 5th. Target was a good one on the 6th. DLTR was a winner. Spy was a winner. Big was a winner. And Q's were a winner on the 9th. March started out strong too. 12th, no trades. 13th, Spy was a loser. QCOM was a loser. GE was a winner. SIG was a winner. Babo was a winner. And TIFF was a winner on the 16th. Again, it was all earnings season. Facebook was a winner on the 19th. Oracle was a loser, and then Facebook was a winner on the 20th. Love was a winner on the 21st. TV Day off the 22nd. 23rd was Q's were a loser, and WDC was a winner. April 2nd, ALTH was a loser. UA was a winner. No trades on the 3rd and the 4th. TV Day off on the 5th. Spy was a loser, and then one winner on the 6th. The 9th, no trades. 10th, no trades. Spy was a loser on the 11th. Q was a winner, and Fast was a winner. BUI was a winner on the 12th, Z was a loser, WFC was a loser, and WFC was a winner on the 13th, 16th WFC was a loser, Netflix was a winner on the 17th, IBM was a winner on the 18th, PG was a winner on the 19th, and the 20th was a TV day off. 23rd AKRX was a loser, two traits, just didn't work, A was a winner, 24th MMM was a loser, and then a winner, and then A was a winner on the 24th. Win was a winner on the 25th, T was a winner on the 26th, and EVA was a winner and no trades in the 27th. 30th, ARNC was a winner. CMI was a loser, STX was a loser, and LL was a winner on the, the, the 1st of May. Again, this is the next earning season. SNAT was a winner on the 5th, or, or on May 5th, or May 2nd, I'm sorry. CH was a loser, and AIG was a winner on May 3rd. 
and then FLR was a winner on May 4th. Seventh, TSEM was a loser. CTSH was a winner. HTZ was a winner on the 8th. Ninth, WT took two tries, one loser, one winner. And then the 10th, EXCL was a winner. No trades on the 11th. 14th, XRX was a winner. 15th, VIPS was a loser. PM was a winner. M was a winner on the 16th. 17th, the Cisco, one loser, one winner. Then WFC was a winner. CPB was a winner on the 18th. No trades on the 21st. 22nd, Tull was a winner. Target was a loser both times. First trade, second trade, then finally a winner in Target on the 23rd. It was a tough one. 24th, AGNC was a loser. BBY was a winner. Foot Locker took two really good trades, and they were both winners. That was a big, big mover on the 25th. Then uh, off for a couple of days, Memorial Day, June 4th, NKTR was a winner. June 5th, CCL was a loser. Starbucks was a winner. June 6th, Amber was a winner. June 7th, SGM was a loser. And LRCX was a huge winner. Spy was a loser on the 8th. TV day off. 12th, no trades. 13th, HRB was a loser. T was a winner. Oracle was a nice winner on the 14th. Spy was a winner on the 15th. No trades on the 18th. Spy was a loser on the 19th. Then the winning trade. Starbucks was a winner on the 20th. AOBC was a loser. And WMT was a loser. And Starbucks was a winner on the 21st. RHT was a loser. First trade, second trade worked. Sometimes you need a retake. And, you know, I determined that in the room. 25th, CCL was a winner. 26th, no trades. CAG was a winner on the 27th. WA was a loser. And then the second trade worked. Winner on the 28th. Off for July 4th, PET was a winner on July 10th. SPY was a loser. And then the second trade winner on the 11th. LB was a winner. The 13th, WFC was a winner. 16th day off, Netflix was a loser. Both trades were losers that day, just didn't work on the 17th. MS was a nice winner, and UAL was a nice winner on the 18th. eBay was a really good one on the 19th. SKX was a loser, G was a winner on the 20th, 23rd off. SPY was a winner on the 24th, GM was a winner on the 25th. Facebook, first trade was a loser, second one a winner on the 26th. Twitter was a winner on the 27th. 7.30 off, and LL was a winner on the 31st. Then into August, Cake was a winner, Trip was a winner, SYMC was a winner, Off for a few days, DBX was a winner on the 10th, Q's were a winner, HD was a loser, Q's were a winner on the 14th, and 15th was M, another nice one in Macy's. 16th, WT was a loser, N a winner, two trades, DF was a loser, AMAT had two losers on the 17th, QQQ's were a loser, EL was a loser, SPY was a winner, ETFC was a loser, HPE was a winner, Target loser, and one winner, and LB was a winner. GPS was a winner on the 24th, no trades on the 27th. SPY was a loser, then the winner. DKS was a loser, AEO was a winner. Two TV days off, then the room was closed for the Labor Day. No trades on the 10th. BABA was a loser, Napa was a winner on the 11th, no trades on the 12th. KR was a winner on the 13th, SPY was a loser on the 14th, no trades on the 17th, and FDX was a nice one on the 18th. No trades on the 19th, RHT was a loser, and Q's were a winner on the 20th. UNFI was a loser, and then the second trade was a winner on the 21st. No trades on the 24th. Facebook was a loser on the 25th. CTL was a winner. Nike was a loser on the 26th. IBM was the big winner. BBY was a winner, and then on the 28th, Facebook was a winner, and Tessa was a loser. And then October, uh, off on the 1st, SF, SFIX, Stitch Fix was a winner on the 2nd, and then 10-3 Senex was a winner and no trades on the 4th. So there have been 200 trade calls from January 1 till now, which when you think about it, it's really not a lot of trades in nine months. Uh, 64 losers, only 64 losers for the nine month period of the year and 136 winners, so that is a 68% win ratio. And that, that number varies. In earnings season, the number's probably gonna go up. We're probably gonna have a higher win ratio this entire month of August. It just really depends how many good gaps we get in any given period, but usually I'm around between 70 and 75% for the year, for the calendar year. I think last year, at the end of the year, it was 70 something for the whole year. 75 or 76 it was, I have to go back and look. So I teach a class on my method it's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. The class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. 
The class for October is October 6th and 7th from 9 to 5 Eastern Time. The class tuition if you want to learn my method. If you would like to join the trade room to get all those calls, you have to be a student and you would get all the calls that I just reviewed. And follow me in the room. And that's the best way that you have the highest chance of success. You do the class and follow the trades in the room. Class tuition is $54.99 and that's through October 5th. So things are changing when the new website rolls out. Uh, the class price will be going up. If you want to trade during earnings season, this is the best time to be in. This is the best time to do the trades, to get the calls, and to be in it. So it will be a very good month. It already has started out a good month. Um, again, it's only the first week, but I've been extremely careful and I've had really uh, a good vision of what's going on here with the overall market as well to help us. And I will continue to be very, very picky as I've been the entire year until the end of the year and moving forward. So if you have any questions, email me. If you want to sign up for this class, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com.